Hello, everybody. Welcome to game 10. 210. It puts a smile on my face, getting further and further along. But anyway, we got a little bit to talk about for this game. I won't take up too much time. This is America Odon Ultra Quiz, a Japanese exclusive quiz game. And as you guys know, quiz games and not being able to understand Japanese, well, the native tongue, is uh, not a good combination. It leaves a stain on my personal challenge, but that's okay, because I have to do the best I can do. So just like with Yu Yu no Quiz de Go Go, the first quiz game on the console, we will be cheating in this game, basically abusing emulator features just so I can show it off because I want to at least show it off in capture footage. I haven't looked for this one on YouTube, but I don't know if there's any footage of the game being played through, so we're going to do that. Now, this quiz game is... Potentially, not potentially, I'd say more than likely more difficult than the last quiz game. Let me turn it down a smidge. Sounds a little loud on my end. Alright. So, this game is brutal, just like the first one. The reason why I can't brute force my way through this game, you guys will see why. There are systems in place that make being unable to read the language in an expedient manner impossible, and I will go over all that stuff. So just be prepared, this will be the second game we use save states on. Quiz games get the exception just so I can get through them. In the future, if I ever do pick up the language, I'd be happy to revisit them. Same with you, you know, quiz they go go. But for the time being, we're just gonna, you know, we're gonna cheat our way through. <laughs> These quiz games are the exception. So you have normal and easy. We're just gonna pick normal. And you get to name your character here. That's the first thing you get to do. So I don't know what these Japanese characters mean. I'm just gonna name myself. Where's the smiley icon? Is that one in here? That's always a fun one to use. I don't know if it is. <coughs> Excuse me. I would think it should be because Hiragana and all that, which I think this is Hiragana, but. You know, I'm not 100% sure. I actually don't see it. Alright, I'm gonna be the, uh... Be this icon here. I'll be two of those, and one of those. Or... There we go. <laughs> it's like the, the mountains or something. <laughs> to my eyes. Alright, once you do that, you can be a boy or a girl, so I'll just be the boy. It doesn't make any difference. Now, I've already gone through this game in advance to see how the format is, as I tend to do with Japanese games, just in case I can brute force them or play them. But this game is... it's hard. It's brutal. So, to start, we've got this uh, screen here. I don't know, uh, I guess it's the fiery passion of the quiz master, we're at a game dome here. This guy's calling us out because we're apparently a hotshot quiz kid, and for this first one we're gonna get five questions, and we have to answer all five of them correctly. For if you answer a single question incorrectly, on this first game, you uh, you lose. And I'm going to show that off before we start cheating. Or I'll get lucky, I don't know. So this is how the question works. We're on a baseball field with a bunch of other contestants. Right? 
And then they, they give us a question here. This is the first game. Let's cheat. Oh, we're gonna cheat. Alright, so this is the question, and it's a true, true or false question. And, uh, the way you answer it is you have to run up this baseball field in a time limit. And this is as fast as we run, by the way. Can't go any faster than this. But we just gotta stand in the true or the false. So usually, what I notice is most of these questions tend to be false. And then when it runs out, these ladies are gonna close off the gates and you lock you into your answer. The Japanese are so fucking bad at the moment that you can't even read half of the things. So that's understandable, man. The the pixel art is uh it can make it trickier to read. I didn't mention this yet. This game is apparently based on an actual TV show in Japan. The topics it talks about is supposed to center around American America. American questions. Now I did translate some of the questions earlier during a different segment. And they have a broad range of complicated topics, it seems. They talk about, like, the Vietnam War. They ask you... Like, one of the questions was, what was the Red Lion? Which is a code name for, uh, I, I believe, a missile system that was used in the Vietnam War. By the mm -hmm. Americans. Alright, but this is what I want to show off. So, this is why I can't brute force this game. Right here. You get one question wrong, and that's it. That's it. Game over. <laughs> and this game is long, as you guys are gonna see. There are checkpoints, but the first checkpoint is not for a very long time, and it's past an impossible to brute force segment, which I will talk about when we get there. So, yeah, I just wanted to show off the game over. I'm going to show off another game over in the future because after you hit a checkpoint, the game has a comeback mini game that I just want to capture just to be thorough. But anyway, so this is this is just the first section. This game is actually kind of cool, sort of, because it uses a lot of different mini games. So this first one is really easy. If you could read the language, I'm sure the questions aren't that hard. I mean, you have a 50-50 shot of getting them right. But the true or false? And we're just gonna stand here. And, uh, I'm gonna start making save states. So, I have enough time to switch my answer if this is incorrect. <laughs> hey, we got it. Now this game is going to be a lot longer than I think any of you will expect a quiz game to be. It won't be as short as Yu Yu was. Because there is going to be, there's like 10 or so stages with lots of different gameplay and some of them are really hard and long. Well, they're not really hard, but they're definitely long. But usually I just guess false at the beginning because like I said, a lot of the questions are false. More so than true, at least based on my testing experience for this first part. This time it's true. We just stand over here instead. I did try to see if any of the NPCs make a good tell. Or which answer is correct, but they seem to evenly divide between the two answers, so I didn't notice any patterns. I don't think the NPC characters help you out here too much. And this is the third question. We got three more. This one and the next two. And like I said, you have to get all five correct in order to move on. This game is extremely brutal about failing a quiz question. When you game over in this game, you game over hard. There is no save, so don't accidentally hit no on the continue screen. When you do hit the checkpoint, or you're gonna have to start completely over again. But how happy this nerd guy next to me is. Do -do. 
Alright, so I'm hitting A. I guess I'll mention controls for every minigame we're gonna play. You have your walking, obviously. A, B, X, and Y always do the exact same thing in every game. I think with one exception is the racing game where B will break and A will drive. <laughs> Aw, oh, damn. Did I forget to, uh, save state there? I think I forgot to save state there. We might be behind a question. Because I wasn't paying attention, I was lost in thought. Okay, yeah, we're behind a question. That's okay, it's not a big deal. So the other thing about this game that makes a later part different the game picks its question, like, right before it shows up. So, that question that was true, that I forgot to save state on, we're not gonna get the same question necessarily. They're not, like, preset. I mean, that might be the same question, but it probably is a different question. Damn my way, kid. <laughs> <laughs> it's like these weird kids. Alright, I'll stay on true for now. And you can get knocked out of the thing. I got pushed by her before, and it counts as an undecided, which instantly loses you. The game. Okay, this one was true too. So, one more to answer. And then we'll be on our way to victory. Very exciting. <clears throat> but yeah, I am resigned to the states for this kind of a game. Even if I found someone willing to cooperate with me on translating, the third game is going to be next to impossible to do on time because the time limit is extremely short to answer questions in a row, and the questions... Like I said, they ask some weird questions, probably things we'd want to look up. One of the questions asked was, what is the width of toilet paper? I'm not even kidding. A sheet of toilet paper, what is the width of it? And the answer in the game is actually incorrect to the to what Google said that the width is, the average width. So there's older information here. Anyway, we won the first game, so we get to drive from Tokyo to Narita because we need to get to the airport. The goal of the game is our guy wants to go to America, which is why we're on an American plane. Look at how excited we are on that plane, sticking our head out there. So this game is Rock, Paper, Scissors. And these games are always in the same order. You get a random opponent, so this is the girl this time. Based on what I've noticed, all the AI fall into a pattern. And you need to figure out the pattern or get lucky. You need to beat them three times. Yeah, the girl looks like she's on the throw two of the same thing out at the same time. Yeah, that's what she's on. I should have did the uh, paper again. Okay, so this game is not hard to. Although, again, if you lose this game, you have to play the first game over again. We have not hit a checkpoint yet. Alright, so now the third game here. This is the impossible to beat game without. Even with save stating, this was impossible for me. So what's going to happen is we're going to get a 30 question quiz, rapid fire. 30 multiple choice questions and he's saying we have to get 10 points. Now the way this works is you don't have to you you don't get ten correct. Every time you get one correct, your point tally increases in the game data. I had to open the game's hex data to beat this game. 
because the hex data showed me what was really going on. Every time you get a question wrong, your point doesn't increase, but if you get two wrong in a row, you actually lose a point to this counter. So blindly guessing in this game became impossible, even with safe stating. Because as you can see, this isn't going to tell you what the answer is. So it asks you a question, you get three options to choose. You have this short time limit of like 10 seconds to do it. And it doesn't even tell you if you got it right. You have no way of knowing if you got it right or wrong. So I'm just gonna run through this to show you guys what it's like. But they ask you all kinds of questions here. Stuff about TV, like when radio was set up. They also ask a lot of things about religion and Afghanistan and Vietnam is a big topic. There's a couple questions on the Vietnam War that I guess was more relevant back when this game was released. They ask you just all kinds of random trivia. It has a rather extensive database. As far as I can tell. And these questions are random. So like here. I'm going to safe state here at 15. Here's 16. Right? So we have a 1717. I'm going to reload. Now it's a different question. The questions change every single time. It's chosen right when you answer. So you can't even save scum correct answers. Because the questions constantly change. They're all random. That was about the news networks. This is uh, measuring something. But yeah, all this stuff combined to make it impossible for me. I was banging my head against the wall for a while here. This was the like ultimate roadblock, even with safe states. But the way to get around this, like I said, you can view the game's hex data live. And it took me a while. Because, you know, no one helped me with it, but I found the, the hex code for the correct answers. So every time I got an answer right, I saw it increase. And every time I got it wrong, that's how I know the first time you get it wrong, it doesn't increase, obviously. But the second time you get it wrong, it actually decreases the number. And you need to get at least 10 points on that thing. So when you're done... Like, he's saying, how did you do? That was the questions on the flight to Guam. You get to here. <laughs> and you get this little cutscene. Where you walk down the staircase. Can't do anything else except walk down. Like, I'm hitting other buttons, hitting up. Can't go back up. And then you find out you failed. <laughs> Which is the saddest fucking thing. Alright, and if you fail, guess what? We have not hit the checkpoint yet, so if you continue, you are all the way back at the baseball field questions. That's right. So, the third game here makes it impossible to just blindly save state. Scum. Now, I'm gonna load a previous state instead of me opening the hex code now. I'm loading a state that, uh, passed that part. So we got the 30 questions correct. And I stepped into Guam, so this is what happens next. Now we're in Guam, this is the fourth game here. This game is... It's kind of got a cool display. We're gonna get seven questions. We have to get five correct out of the seven. So you can only fail two times. And these are more true and falses. He asks the question here. And then the way you answer it, you actually play a new mini game. And this is where the game gets like interesting, is you get all these weird mini games. So you just run up off this cliff and you fucking skydive who knows how far and you have to land on these things. If you hit mud, you got it wrong. So we just reload and I should set my save state to, like, the bridge, so we don't have to wait as long. And if you get it right, then you land like this. So this is the fourth game. Uh... What happens if you miss the landing? I can show that. I'll show that the next one. You fall into the ocean and you get to see a new background. 
Now this wind, you can see the wind meter, that actually affects you. Like if I hold up and go with the wind, look at how far we f we go out <laughs> into the damn ocean. Yeah, so that's what happens if you miss. You just lose and you fall into the ocean. It's actually kind of hard to, uh, to control this game. The controls in this game are awful. I'm gonna say that right now. Anyway, we want to win. Yeah, look at me fighting against the win. It's really hard to do. Okay, that was the wrong answer. And we're jumping from like 60 meters in the air. I don't know how this kid survives. That's pretty far up in the air. Without a parachute. It's insane. This is why I want to show off these games though. They have some... It's just cool to see. Even though I can't beat them officially, like on my own merit. If I could read the quiz questions, like I said, in the future, maybe I can try to play the game legit. I definitely am open to coming back to things, but for the time being, we're just gonna scum our way to victory. Now, I didn't mention it yet, but right here, this is the first checkpoint, so if we fail, I do want to show something off for failing. Uh, let me just get the four points first. Now that we hit the first checkpoint, you hit continue. We're going to start from Guam. So you don't have to play the other games again. But if you lose, I'll have to show it in the next game. I don't think it works for this one. There is a redemption mechanic to continue from where you are instead of going straight to a game over. Now, if you succeed the redemption mechanic, you uh, you still start from the checkpoint, so you lose progress, but you know you don't start from the very very beginning. I will show that off on the next one. I don't think it applies here, since hitting continue here, you just you start here anyway. You need to get past this checkpoint. Alright, so that was Guam. Not too bad. It's, a, it's awkward to controls, but, you know, it's whatever. It's true or false questions. And we make it to San Jose. Now, San Jose here has, uh... One of the stranger mini games. It's gonna be. I don't even know how to describe it. So. <sighs> you'll see. You'll see. This, this game is insanely hard to control. I guess imagine Sonic. You're rolling this ball. And you have to get to the, uh, let me save there. You have to get to the quiz section without hitting any of these pits. Now, you can hold a button to slow down, but man, controlling this ball is wonky as hell. So you want to hit the Q to get a quiz question, and then he gives you three choices. Because, you know, it's a quiz show. All these weird mini games are about quizzing. And then here, you need to answer correctly, because if you answer wrong, you have to do the whole thing over again. Wow, that's a good guess, me. Alright, and if you get it right, you move on. There's like five of these fucking things. Now, let me show you real quick what happens if you fail. You can fall off. I think you get three chances to fail. Oh, and something funny you can do, you can actually, like, spin the ball super fucking fast. <laughs> Look at how fast that shit goes. That hurts the eyes a little bit. And I'm not even holding the D-pad anymore. It's just perpetually spinning in place. Alright, I'm holding left. <laughs> like, switched its direction. Yeah, I don't understand how this works. It might be... Hold up. Oh god, that hurts so bad. I think I broke the game. We're not even moving. It's just flashing. <laughs> we have to wait till time runs out. I'm stuck. <laughs> god, this cracks me up. 
Don't hold right or left. The ball freaks out. Alright, but I wanted to show the game over because here we can get the redemption game. The redemption game is always the same, although it has some different backgrounds later. But yeah, if you fail, you get the second chance. You get to play whack-a-mole and whack 12 moles in this little minigame. So if you fail this game, you game over completely and go to the... You know, you have to choose to continue or not. You have, like, what, 60 seconds to whack these fucking moles? You can also whack their holes. So I just want to show this off. <laughs> there you go, so I succeeded. And when you succeed, you get to, uh, continue. It's a clever way to do a bug out of chips. <laughs> So yeah, since we get to continue, we're back on the, uh, the beginning of this game instead of at the checkpoint. Where if we failed, we would have gone back to Guam, because that's the checkpoint. But you do start over completely from this game, so I'm gonna load my state, because we're on question two, and it's just a little faster. But yeah, this is some next level... Mode 7 graphics right here in a quiz game of all games. Let's do a little bit of that, uh, you know that game with the marble, you have to avoid the holes and get it to the end. Otherwise you start over. That's what this makes me think of. So we got a question here, feel free to read it. Something about background music. Or if BGM stands for something else and something else. So I just guessed the first thing. Wow, right again. And he saw an E. Maybe. Well, the answer was three. Alright, so here's this one. This course you can take the long way or there's the shortcut here. And these are in the same order from when I tested, so these never change. And, like I said, you can hold the button to slow the ball down, so the shortcut's not bad. You have plenty of time to answer the question. This game is not that hard. Alright, there's a question. Do, 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 and you just hit a button to skip ahead to this part. Otherwise, you wait for the timer to finish and it'll kick you out. I guess one. That, that's wrong. So if it's wrong, you have to you start the whole course over from the beginning. You get to roll back to the quiz question. Which is really annoying. <laughs> but uh maybe something we'll have to do in the future if I can actually read this language. And I try to play the game legit. And here's this one. This one is you know, again, you've got the easy, short way if you just take this. Now this ball, if you don't slow down, it starts rolling extremely... Oh, I fell. It starts rolling extremely quickly. Like, if I just keep the ball going, I'm slowing down now to make it over this, but... It gets extremely hard to, uh, go through. If someone speed ran this game, they would have an interesting time on these levels. Because you would want to go fast. BMX! Something with a Q. I'm gonna guess. But the other thing is, these aren't in order. Like, you see the two here? That, that was answer two. Then the answer one is here. And the answer three is there. Apparently it was X. It's got catchy music. <laughs> this is the final stage. If you get five right, you do get two chances to fail. I think there's only... F like, if you get the quiz questions wrong... Maybe when you get them wrong, you do move on to the next one? 
I think there's like seven. But we're gonna get this right with the power of cheating for the sake of getting through the game. Yeah, cheating! I know, a lot of people are gonna, you know, they're already gonna be angry with me because for quiz games we cheat just to get through them. Otherwise I would have been on this for eternity. But hey, they can be mad. It's all good. I play the rest of the games legitimately. <laughs> Personally, you don't mind? I appreciate it. I, it bothers me a little bit, you know. I would love to be super authentic with the quest, but my hands are tied. I just can't learn this language fast enough to, uh, you know, finish this game. It would be like months of hard, dedicated work that, quite frankly, I'm way too lazy about. So, we're in Nevada, and this next game is a racing game. I don't know why. This game is long. It takes a really long time. Imagine failing questions here. By the way, you haven't hit a checkpoint yet. So if you fail here, you have to do all that other stuff again. Pretty fun music, though, in this game. This game's got some bangers. This is, uh, F-Zero. As you can see, we're playing F-Zero now. And some more in Mode 7. You hold A to go forward, you can hit B to break. You've got red gas that drains, but if you crash into the borders or the red cars, you lose your red meter. So obviously you don't want to lose out on your red meter. You have a time limit to make it to the end. And that's a nitro, it's a speed boost. It doesn't look like I'm going faster, but you can see my speed is increasing. And yeah, this gets tricky. <laughs> and this is all you can do. You can't turn the car. You don't turn right and left. You only slide right and left. Like, it's weird. And this is all just to, you guessed it, like, it's not just racing, we're racing to a quiz question, and then we have to answer the quiz question correctly. While not dying. This is the most hardcore quiz game I've ever experienced. <laughs> I'm sure there's harder, core quiz games out there, but for the Super Nintendo in 92, this is insane. There's like actually gameplay to this quiz game. And look at how long this track is! We're still going! We're just arriving at the quiz question right now. So this is another multiple choice of three. And uh, we're gonna make a safe state once we get back in. Because it's quite a long load and you have to choose your answer. That was wrong. <laughs> And, and again, you need to get most of these correct. You, I think you have a leeway of two, again, and that's it. So we're going to be here for a while because we have to do five of these racetracks. And uh, they're long as fuck. <laughs> but they got fun music, so you can enjoy the music. Every time I see the enemy cars come up, I think they're the Flame Stingray from F-Zero. Dude, I'm gonna download this OS, I think. <laughs> oh no, I like this song. If the OST has been uploaded, so, it should go without saying, the quiz games are not a popular choice for translators. I did look for a translation patch, but, you know, nobody cares to make one. Information on this game is pretty scarce in general. But, I can beat it. I was really worried I wasn't even going to be able to show off the ending of the game. That third minigame, you guys have no idea how many hours I spent trying to find a way to get through it before I hit the revelation. 
that I can find the hex code, and I actually found the hex code because I'm a goddamn genius. Yeah, they are pretty niche overall. But if I didn't find that hex code, man, we would not be this far in the game. Because <laughs> I would have no idea how the third game worked. Uh, hold on. Before I... Oh, shit. Let me save here. I need to get my dog before she tries to jump off the bed. Okay, I got plenty of time. She wants up on the bed and then she wants off the bed. She can't make the jump anymore. Was that correct? Wait, I didn't hear the sound. I didn't have my headphones on. <laughs> was one action correct? It was, okay. Good guess, me. <clears throat> Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Is pretty niche. Good night, Sean. Getting a cushion or something to make a step for the doggo. We have this step thing, but she won't go on it. She's terrified of it, and it's not very stable either. I don't mind picking her up. I just have to keep an eye on her. I keep telling her the day's gonna come. Uh, we're actually gonna need to... I need to migrate downstairs. So she doesn't have to climb up the steps anymore. And I'm gonna be living downstairs because she always wants to be with me. So that's gonna be annoying. Because she also likes to be upstairs. She'll be crying a lot in the near future when she can't handle the steps. She's just getting too old. Roxy doesn't have too many left in her. Oh god. Now I could hit B to slow down, but you lose a ton of speed, so I'd rather just lose the health. <laughs> yeah. Don't crash into the other cars. I don't know if I have enough health to make this one. I'm gonna try to finish this one out. Okay, we should be fine. See you. I didn't mention it, but this quiz show sound effect, if this was actually what they played on the show, this would make me anxious as fuck. Just that beep. Time's running out. It's like a time bomb's ticking. <laughs> Incorrect, dude. Nice. Drink went down bad. I'll be okay. Uh. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> Careful, man. Sorry, I like did that thing where I followed my drink and it did, did not go down correctly. <coughs> I'm good, I'm good, I swear. I also have a bit of a sore throat, so it's a good thing this game isn't too, too long. Because I don't have to do a lot of talking. And uh, I'll probably be quieter after this game, thinking I'll stream some Dark Souls. But I don't know, yeah, I have to see if my friends want to do anything. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, 
Hey, another quiz question for the racer man. So those like weird parenthesis looking things with the two lines are like category stuff. Oh, I didn't mean to save there. Save here. Okay, that was five. I think we're done. No, we have one more to do. This should be the final race before we move on to the next minigame. I forget what the next one even is. Long so good. Maybe in the future, if I ever make some money streaming and I do some giveaways with it, and get like a roulette wheel thing and have the song playing in the background, I think this would be a good one <laughs> for that sort of thing. Why did that guy turn in front of me, trying to hit me? The the hitboxes are fairly generous. Like you can see, I'm clipping inside their sides, but it doesn't count as a collision. Game is extremely basic in that manner. Which is good because you know, you run into them and you lose a bajillion HP like that. Don't know. <laughs> okay, so you don't have to answer a question on the fifth one, you just finished the race. There we go from Nevada to Key West, Florida. <clears throat> we gotta see ourselves in the background. Now, I don't know if you played a girl, if the like boy sprites are all changed with the girl sprites. I actually didn't test that, because I haven't played the girl, I, would, I just picked the guy. If this is the one I think it is, this one's actually really cool. It is. Alright, so this game... You get a question in the background. You don't want to shoot the balloons, but what you do is you can shoot the panels, and it flips over the question, right? I just want to show this off. So you need to flip over the question... <laughs> So that you know what it's asking you, you know? And if you hit them again, you flip them back over. So this game, it's like a... I don't know, I like the idea, but it's really fucking obnoxious to hit. Anyway, once you think you know the answer, you just want to shoot the panels of the true or false. And it takes a while to charge up your gun. Right, so that's wrong. I don't want to hit that. But uh, the concept of this game is pretty cool. You get a ton of time on the top right, as you can see. And then they all drop down, and eventually another one comes up. <coughs> Since we're safe stating, I don't need to flip the question over. I just want to flip the answer over. A hey, good guess. Now, I think you hit a checkpoint, but I'm not 100% sure by this point, so it might be a bad idea to fail this game. I'm so good. I don't even need these save states. Oh 
yeah, that game, I don't know, I just like the concept of it, thought it was cool. You do have to be kind of fast, you get 300 seconds, but that's for all of them. Now we're in Kentucky, almost done, there's three more games to play. So, this one is, uh... Also a neat concept, if it's the one I think it is. Yeah, it is, I think. So, they're gonna fire envelopes out of a cannon. You need to chase them, and the AI is chasing them, too. And you can only carry one envelope at a time, as you can see from the top right. But what you want to do is get the envelope. Yeah, he got it. And then you need to walk into the, the quiz guy to answer the question that's on the envelope. You need to answer four of them correctly before one of the NPCs does. So these questions are again multiple choice. These though, they tell you when you got them right or wrong, thankfully. Not a guess. And some of the envelopes are actually fake. If you get a fake envelope, it will just kick you out of the thing. And this area is extensive. I haven't explored yet, but you can go in the trees here and... Yeah, all this cliffside here, and there's a whole section on the left. I am doing something else at the moment, but I'll be done shortly in like an hour. Not fapping. <clears throat> Though I should be. <laughs> oh good. Yeah, sometimes there's a bunch of envelopes left behind from the AI, so we can go back and get that if none of them find it. Alright, that's that's the fake envelope. We just get mad and we get thrown out. Not an actual quiz question. Okay. See you, dude. So I'll just guess. Guess me. Doing great so far. Two more. That's all we need. I'm gonna go leave that to them and get the ones that are neglecting over here. So, I think the concept of this one is a good idea. You guess me. I just need one more. Our characters walk so fucking slow, though. And some of the NPCs are really fast. God damn it. Come here. Hey. Alright, this should be the end. <laughs> I actually guessed them all right, except for the first one. Maybe I need a fifth? I don't know if there's a time limit. We'll just try to get a fifth. Should end soon. You can see I just lost a point for getting it wrong. Okay, so you needed five, right? Like, this, all of these games, when you get the question wrong, you lose a point. It makes it extremely brutal if you're not cheating. Alright, two more levels. DC and New York, these are both simple. I have no idea what that is supposed to be. It's like a caterpillar, dog, monstrosity. 
there. We're gonna get uh, another five questions. I think we need three right out of five. That's what that was saying. Oh yeah, this is the shmup. So, there's a shmup in this game. This is hard, too. Okay, I just died there. You actually have stocks, and you need to get these question mark envelopes to spell quiz. This is a speed boost, I think. And there's, this is the attack boost, and so now I have four instead of two. This might... Okay, I got a one-up, nice. Yeah, the shmup is actually difficult, because, you know, while you're going through the shmup, you have to answer quiz questions, obviously. And they're... If you get the question wrong, you know, you, you're fucked. Imagine trying to beat this game blind. Like, even if you could understand the language, I think this game could be kind of hard because you'd need to know all the answers to the questions. Granted, the questions could be completely trivial, but... <clears throat> this could be such a cool game of random minigames, many things. Could remove the quiz stuff. Yeah, it's an approach, but uh, it's, it's a quiz game. They went with the quiz base. Ah, oh, shit, I got wrecked. And just like in a, any shmup, you get wrecked, you lose your fucking power-ups. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> hey. So, making progress. This shmup section is actually rather extensive, too. And there's even a boss at the end of it. I kid you not. So the way I think this section works, I believe it infinitely loops until you answer the quiz question, and then it loads the next section. In. Or actually, you know what, maybe it doesn't even do that. Maybe you just have to get at least three correct answers before the end. That's what that 3 of 5 is. Could test it now. Let's save here since I got that right. Uh, if you just need three out of five, I should not need to do the next quiz question. But we'll do one more. May as well, I mean, I have nothing to lose. K and Y, S and T, A and F. A and F, man, it's always A and F. <laughs> But yeah, look at how many different enemy types are in this shmup and all these background environments. They put so much effort in this shit. They even have these weird icon things on the bottom here. Going fast now, just like Gradius. I'll do a fifth quiz question just in case, but I think you only need three. Like, I think the text at the beginning said need three. At least. Spams bullets, actually not a chump. Ah <laughs> oh, shit, I got one life left. Oh shit. We're down to the last stock. I mean I can just reload if we fail, but but yeah, you gotta wait till the center thing opens. There we go. I 
<laughs> God, I'm invincible when he's dead. I don't know. This just blows my mind. <laughs> they went to such a length to record this game. Alright, so we're up to the final stage. Final stage is the most quiz-like thing. One of the NPCs, it looks like the female this time. You get a random NPC who apparently did just as well as us. So we're in the finals. Last time I went through this, it was one of the, it was the nerd guy. Alright, so this is simply first to answer ten questions correctly, and they slowly reveal the question to you. You need to chime in when you think you know the answer. Well, actually, you chime in when you think you know the question, because they don't even show you the answers until you chime in. Alright, nice. So, since I'm cheating, I don't have to see the questions, I can just guess. And like last time, you lose a point if you get it wrong, so... If you're doing this legitimately, you need to be cautious. Oh shit, hey. <laughs> I'm not gonna let you answer. No reason to. The AI is pretty fast on the draw. Actually. Now, the thing I don't know is if these are questions the game has already asked you in the past. I don't know how you're supposed to be so fast. Because if I just let this go... You see how fast she answered that? And they weren't done showing stuff. I'll just let her have that one. That's all she gets. Do, 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 do. This fucking music, man. Nice. They're almost done. Okay. And we're the quiz champion. It's quite, quite a hefty amount to this game. And the checkpoints are not that great. <clears throat> so every time you fail a game, you get set back pretty far unless you uh, beat the whack-a-mole minigame. I think the first checkpoint is really the worst of it. The 30 question quiz, that's like the most disgusting one. If you can't read the language. Like, I kid you guys not, I was up all last night, literally like eight hours trying to figure out a way. I was translating those questions the first time around, and I didn't get enough answers correct, so I was like, shit, what a waste of time. But, uh, then I had my moment of genius, thankfully, so I have a strat now in the future. If I get stuck on quiz games again, that will hopefully help me get me out. <clears throat> get on our mechanical hang glider here. Is it a quiz game that you like? What is it? Look at that sunset. Uh, the Pokemon Stadium 2 quiz game. Yeah, the Pokemon Stadium minigames were some of the most fun things I did with my brothers. I really like the uh, Kakuna Metapod game, as well as the Scyther Pinsir woodcutting. Yo, Sarge with the 32 month subscription. Thank you very much. 
for the subscribe. Got to do this. Oh, you remembered now. Sun is rising. See the pixels going up. And this game actually has credits to it. So we can thank the total producer of the new title and director Tetsuo Akiyama for this wonderful gem of a game. Look at the size of that TV compared to this kid. As well as the other three people that worked on it. <laughs> I wonder who 10,000 Cell Sato is. <laughs> DGM composer was Cube. Cube made some nice music for this game. Some of the tracks are cool. But yeah, this was produced by Tommy. I don't know if Tommy has made other games on the system. I don't recognize them. Could be their first. Maybe not, though. Maybe it's not a kid, but a toy. No, that's a kid. That's his mother. That's me! The quiz champion! He these ending credits, though? We can listen to the music for a bit, so if you sit on the screen, nothing happens. You're just forever watching yourself sleep. I know, because I waited for a while, and I used the fast-forward button. So this is the end of the game, can't get back without a reset. And beating this doesn't unlock a hard mode or anything. Easy mode, I'm not sure what the differences are with easy mode. I don't know if the questions are just easier or maybe you need less correct. Because <coughs> I didn't try it out and I don't plan on it. Currently until I do my video review then I'll take a look at it. But yeah, thanks for joining me for a uh, second quiz game on the challenge. And uh, looking forward to the next game where we go back to playing a legit. So. <clears throat> As for now, I'm probably switching over you up for that monster hunter. Alright, we're gonna switch over to Monster Hunter. Pretty YouTube people, thanks for watching. I'll split the video here. Actually, to be safe, I'm gonna shut the stream down just so when I play Monster Hunter, I listen to my own music. I don't care if that audio gets clipped, but I don't want it to affect this. I will be right back.